Good morning guys, my young Buntag. So today's a special day, an emotional day for me, but also uh, a great day for me. And it's been three years since I've left the country of the Philippines and actually also three years since I've left the province. So yeah, my bags are packed. Ah, it's a beautiful sunny day out. Whew. I'm lucky because I'm going to have a little bit of a a walk down to the to the bus. I'm going to be taking a bus to the city today. I'm quite far from the city, uh, quite far from the airport as well. So uh, yeah, just checking up, making sure everything's good in the house. Lock the windows. Lock the doors. Put all my stuff away. All right, guys. We'll see you down at the bus. Take it easy. Peace. There you go. The mission starts as soon as I leave my house. <laughs> I got a little way down to the my motorbike, and then I gotta figure out how I'm getting down to the bus. So uh, for now. Enjoy the last bit of greenery I'm going to see for a little while. Alright guys, we're here on the bus. It's not bad. There's no uh, AC, but... It's comfy. It's okay. I got a three hour drive ahead of me, so. Well, not drive, but wait. Bus driver's doing the drive. I'll be staying the, the night in Taik Balaran, like I said, which is the big city here in Bahal, because I'm still uh, quite far from the airport. So I'll spend the night in a nice hotel tonight, eat some nice food, and then tomorrow morning I'm off to Thailand, guys. Fun fact here about the buses here in the Philippines, but uh, it's not just a, a driver that's with us. It's also there's another worker that like collects the money from you, asks like where you're going, and uh, every so often, I think it's like every hour or so, they actually uh, have to they stop the bus and uh, get rid of the the money that they've collected so far. I've seen it. It's like for safety and just in case of robbery or something like that but uh, every so often they'll stop the bus and uh, it's funny too because the person they give the money to always looks like just a civilian so I think that's what he's doing now I'm not sure where he went where did he go hopefully he's okay every main stop guys will come up to the windows and they'll sell uh, they try to sell some snacks or or stuff like that so that's pretty cool here you can never go hungry on the bus if you don't have water guys will come up to the window you can buy water from them selling like hard-boiled eggs uh, chips stuff like that it's always cool always fun in the Philippines there's our guy there Young dude. It's
want to post a pang lao. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, just got to the uh, to the uh, terminal. A little busier out here in the city. It's nice though. I gotta catch the uh, Panglao bus now. So I'm gonna go try to uh, find it. I think it's over there. It's an uh, air conditioned bus, which is pretty good. It's the bus terminal here. This one's at the uh, ICM in Taig Balaran. The buses are the best way to get around too. Like, even if you're a tourist and you want to check out some tourist spots, uh, the tricycles, which you just saw there, sometimes they take advantage of you, but the buses are always uh, a good bet. Oh. I'll sit back here. They got like TVs and stuff up there. All air conditioned, nice and cooled. As you can see, they got like nicer seats too. TVs. Ooh. Ready to go. Serving peanuts. Some good munchy food here. It's pretty good. Tapuyag, Musta. way to the visa office so I'll tell you what I need to get there it's a little complicated now the rules uh, for uh, even just leaving the Philippines after you've been here for uh, I believe it's six months this rule I I think this changed in 2019 so uh, if you're here for longer than six months on a tourist visa you have to get a exit clearance basically like a police clearance uh, I'll show you a bit more about that when we get to the uh, the visa office. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace. All right, that was the bus, guys. Oh, the bus does not take me to where I need to go. So uh, I've got to fly down a tricycle. That's my journey. Walking around with my big backpack. Hand carry. Nice and hot. Uh, no luck. Keep walking. It's a beautiful day. So guys, I'm gonna try to find a tricycle here. A way down to the uh, visa office. I'm like literally 10 minutes away, but the bus just goes to the airport, so. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find one, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Peace. That's good, yeah. Hey, habo habo. Haba laba la. <laughs> Where are we going though? To Pilara? Uh, no, um, just here to 7 uh, Eleven. Yeah, yeah, to Pilara, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I took the small bus, but then it goes to the airport only. Uh, so, I must go to the visa office, so. Alright, habo habo. Haba laba la. Yes, sir. Motor bike? Yeah, man. What's your name? What's your name? Okay, I'll go see Chris, bro. Nice to meet you. You have uh, different, different options here for transport. You have the bus, tricycle, jeepney. there we took that hobble hobble which is uh, locals that give ride on their scooters so yeah I got closer to my destination I'm like a five minute walk to the visa office 
now it's starting to get a little hot but it's all good all right guys i'll get back to you when we get to the visa office and i'll tell you about the the papers you need to get before you leave the philippines all right guys so this is what it is it's called the immigration clearance certificate it's got your picture your signature and also your fingerprint um, saying that I've been here legally I've been paying my uh, visas so I guess they've been having problems with uh, tourists coming in here and not paying visas and still being able to leave which it's kind of their fault though they should be checking that stuff but. and uh, to make sure you didn't get into any trouble when you were here awaiting a court date or something so yeah I got my paperwork Whew. was a hassle by the way if you're gonna if you're here in anywhere in the Philippines you have to do this uh, just realize that you have to uh, well it takes about a week for them to process all that paperwork so don't just do it a couple of days before your flight because you won't get on it, it doesn't matter how much you argue or pay you're not getting on that flight again this is for people who have been here for longer than six months if you're here for three months you have no issue don't worry about this if you're planning on com you know coming here for a long term eventually after a year you want to do your exit go somewhere you're gonna have to do this uh, new requirement so well it's not that new supposedly since 2019 but I don't know Whew. all right guys so I'm in the beating Sun I'm gonna go to the 7-eleven uh, that's just here get something cold to drink I haven't eaten all day it's like 12:30. I'm used to it though and then I gotta find a way to my hotel for the night guys so yeah it's always fun in the Philippines keeps you going really wish uh, Serena was here with me obviously going to Thailand and but uh, yeah it is what it is She's doing her business in Canada. I'm here like a trooper in the Philippines. All right guys, I'm gonna let you go. See you guys in a bit. All right guys, back in Alona. I'm sorry, I couldn't show you uh, my trip here. I had to take a, a tricycle, but uh, there were like tons of other people with me in the tricycle. I couldn't take out my camera, sell respect. What's up, bros? What's up? Yeah, bro. Oh, it's okay, Kuya. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, so Alona here, Bang Lao. Bit busier of uh, of an area. I don't know if you flipped me off or not, but everyone's trying to sell you stuff here. It's just what it is. The busy area of Alona. Yeah. So yeah, I probably could have, should have got the tricycle to drive me a little further, but uh, I like to walk. Oh, it's okay, yeah. Okay, good, thank you. Yeah. Now they always think you're a tourist here if you're here in Bang Lao. You know, I say it every video, but I've been balik balik back and forth since 2014 here. I don't consider myself a tourist. I don't I don't go to the islands I don't uh, go to the restaurants here so uh, yeah good spot though we're gonna check into the hotel guys I hope it's a little interesting on today's vlog as you can see though a lot of stuff still damaged from the typhoon a lot of stuff still closed here and a lot of things for sale a lot of the restaurants, resorts, all the hotels. Not all of them, but a nice amount of them are for sale. So, yeah. Hopefully the tourism bounces back. Whew. All right, guys. With this backpack, my carry-on, and then holding the camera in one hand, I am like so tired. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let you guys go. Get back to you when I've uh, when I'm at that hotel. Ciao, guys. All right, guys. I'm in my hotel room here. You might have seen this little room in our past 
other video with Zarina. Uh, this is at the Tip Top Resort. Um, nice little spot here. Uh, relatively cheap, 1,600 pesos, so uh, $37 Canadian. Yeah, we got a nice little view out here. Nice spot. Tip Top's pretty good. I just pigged out on the deli downstairs. You can get like, uh, if you're into cheese, you can get some good blue cheese, brie, aged cheddars, Gruyere, Emmentaler, all that good stuff. Good salamis, uh, prosciutto, soppressata, uh, what's the other one? Cacciatore. If you're Italian, you know what I'm talking about, but uh, this is a Swiss, uh, Swiss hotel. They got a bunch of goodies here, so. Yeah, guys, that's it for tonight. I'm so tired. Woo. So yeah, guys, really appreciate all the watches here, all the subscribers out there watching our videos. Uh, please bear with us. Um, I try to do as many as of the tour spots as I can, show you guys some new things that you haven't seen before, but I'm dealing with life situations here too, which I wanna share with you guys, so yeah. I'm gonna go enjoy my beer, enjoy my food. I'm gonna get to sleep. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the morning. My flight's early tomorrow morning to Bangkok. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Actually, my flight is early tomorrow to Manila, not Bangkok. All right, guys. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace.